Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today we are doing kanji, which is a kind of like a prayer that we do. It's like a Mauritian culture thing and we've always done it. I think every year we do it. And it's not just Mauritian, I think it's like Sri Lankan. It's, it originates from Tamil culture. So I think, I guess a lot of Sri Lankans, Indians do it too. I think some, in, some people in Africa do it too. But it's kind of like an offering and we thank the gods for well, we do it for this reason. It's kind of like we pray throughout the year and when everything that we've asked for and prayed for kind of happens, then we thank them and we offer food and service. So yeah, that's what it's all about. I hope I'm explaining this properly. I'll link some websites in the info box that explain better, but that's how I've learned it and yeah. But I'm gonna go eat now, I'll film that bit. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because I wanted to share a bit of like our culture and you know, I just love cultural videos and religious kind of things and yeah. Maybe I'll talk a bit my, about my religion later on in this video, but yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys. But I'll show you guys a little montage of the prayer that we did. You're in the video. Ah. Okay, so this is the food a little bit here. I know we have Mother Mary right there. So this is candy. This is kind of like the porridge rice. Should we just like Porridge rice. It's what villagers in like centuries ago would eat and offer to um, a god i think it's a goddess yogurt rice spring onion yeah okay so then we have aubergines which is called touffe basel and it's just aubergines i don't know how to make it i was going to film how to make this but then you know it turned out that i couldn't so yeah but this is so good it's my favorite thing then we have spinach come on up touffe spinach touffe spinach and then we have chickpeas Tout fait zépinard. Oh. Tout fait zépinard. Et ça? Satini euh, gram. Gram. Satini cacahuète. Pistache. Coco. Pistache. Il y a quoi dedans? Pistache seulement? Ouais. Ok, satini pistache. And then. Kir. Kir, c'est uh, pongo sadon. Pongo sadon. I love this and I love this and then I put this. It's so good. My mom wants, my mom wants me to show this. <laughs> the uh, Tupperware. Special dishes. Special dishes. I think these were from India. So we learn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna serve myself. This is my food, guys. It's so yum. I'm, oh my god, I'm so happy when I eat this food. It might be a little bit messy in my background. That's all my mess. I'm just gonna pour some orange juice. I really like this Tropicana juice. This is um, orange and lime. It's really nice. And I always get smooth. Ain't nobody likes some bits in my drink. No. I literally look crazy, but it's okay. Like I was saying earlier on, I just wanted to share this because I really like videos like this. And I kind of feel like it will hit home for a lot of you guys because I know a lot of you um, have the same culture as me. Mm. Was it good? Spicy I, thought, I like it when it's spicy. I feel like I'm at a grandma's house. My brother can't eat spicy. 
I I love spicy food now. Like I literally have Tabasco with everything. I want to tie my hair up. Scat Gigi. This cat. No, no. I swear this dude is crazy. This cat. He's one type of cat. I'm telling you. So yeah, kind of like the whole year. My mum and us, like, we all pray that we get, like, really good results, that we all pass our exams. And just other things could be health-related or anything, really. And obviously a lot of praying goes into it. And if it happens, then we do a service and we thank, kind of, like, the gods with the food. But when I, every time we do kanji, we always think, of, I always think about when we used to do it at my grandma's house. Like, it's really nostalgic, like, really we've been doing it like every year and i don't know i just wanted to share it with you guys i think the main thing was for us all to pass our exams and that's what my mum really wanted and i did well my brother did really good my sister's going to into law and antoine even had exams and he did well in that so it all went well and i don't know i'm just enjoying this food i think i might just go finish the rest of my family this video is probably really short, but I did want to just I did want to share it. So kind of like I don't I've said this on my Instagram. I'm actually want to go on a on a tangent here, but I went on Instagram and I did say that oh I don't really like talking about my religion because I'm still trying to kind of figure it out myself. Like I'm not super religious. I think I I, I thought I was, but I don't think I am. I do have beliefs. Wait. <laughs> I do have beliefs in both like Christian, Catholic um, gods and also Hinduism and obviously like it's like for example my sister she knows she's completely Catholic but for me like I have beliefs in both um, I don't know I used to always I remember like when I was little I was so scared to go to this new school I was going to obviously you guys know I've been to seven schools in my life and when I was in India, like I was so scared to go there. And literally every morning I wake up 30 minutes or an hour earlier just to go pray for like ages in front of like the Hindu gods like Ganesh, Lakshmi, Hanuman. I think that I'm missing one. Ganesh, Lakshmi, Krishna. I literally would pray to them every day. I was like, please, can you not make me be scared? I'm, I'm, I don't want anyone to see me do that. So I wake up really early. Um, so I always had that belief you know but i also really strongly believe in you know jesus mother mary god and everything so yeah i never really like to talk about because i've had people tell me like what the hell like that doesn't make any sense but then when i addressed it on instagram so many of you messaged me and said that you are kind of the same thing like you have both religions and mauritius is very very diverse there's a lot of um catholics muslims and hindus so it makes sense that a lot of you preach both because i come from a family that has prayed to both and my grandma was very very religious and i just always grew up with that and yeah but it's like i don't go to church but you have to go to church to have, do you have, do you think you have to be going to church to have strong faith yeah. my sister don't go to church <laughs> but we do have strong faith so i don't know it's different for everyone i feel like nowadays everyone kind of makes their own rules I just believe in what I believe and I'm, I, I just, I don't, like, since I had comments about my religion, like, I literally just keep it to myself and I want to believe in what I want to believe and I know my faith, I know my beliefs, so, but I thought, why not share it with you guys because a lot of you said that you have the same thing and I was, it made me, it warmed my heart up, like, to just know that I wasn't alone because I've never really met people that had, like, two, had two, had beliefs in two religions, you know? But anyways, I'm gonna head off guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I love you guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!